Cybersecurity is a constantly evolving field, and the importance of staying updated with the latest trends and technologies cannot be overstated. In the realm of cybersecurity, the roles of the red team and the blue team are critical to ensuring a secure environment. Both teams have distinct roles to play, yet the common goal of protecting the organization is what binds them together. In this article, we will explore the roles and responsibilities of the red and blue teams and how their collaboration is necessary for efficient cybersecurity. The Red Team The Red Team is a group of experienced cybersecurity professionals who are adept at mimicking real-life cyber attacks, using tactics such as social engineering and penetration testing. The Red Team's primary objective is to penetrate the organization's internal network defenses, identify vulnerabilities, and extract valuable data without getting caught. They critically analyze the organization's infrastructure, systems, and employees to find weak spots that could be exploited by malicious actors. The Red Team focuses on thorough testing of an organization's security posture to emulate the steps taken by hackers. The Red Team's contribution to the organization is crucial. By identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities, the Red Team can expose areas where defensive security measures are inadequate. The team may use automated tools or human insights to achieve their objectives, which include gaining access to confidential data and organization's intellectual property. By doing so, red teams help organizations to build a stronger defense against cyber attacks. The Blue Team The Blue Team is responsible for maintaining an organization's internal network defenses against cyber attacks. The primary goal of the Blue Team is to protect valuable assets, detect threats, and respond swiftly to any security breaches. Blue Team members are experts in threat intelligence and network security focusing on defensive security measures rather than actively attacking the organization's infrastructure. The Blue Team deals with every potential threat to the organization. They respond to suspicious activity, analyze and mitigate potential risks, and continuously monitor the network. The Blue Team also conducts regular assessments to detect vulnerabilities and exposures that may be present in the network. Blue teams are responsible for configuring and maintaining security controls such as firewalls, intrusion prevention systems, and security information and event management solutions that help detect, deter, and prevent attacks. The need for collaboration. The red team and the blue team have opposite objectives, but their cooperation is essential for efficient cybersecurity. They both need to work closely to ensure a secure environment for the organization. A critical aspect of collaboration is the exchange of information about emerging dangers and hacker techniques that enable both teams to stay ahead of potential vulnerabilities. The red team's simulated attacks push the blue team to their limits and reveal weak spots that they otherwise may not have identified. The blue team, in turn, learns from these experiences, adapts their defenses, and continuously improves the organization's security posture. The constant cycle of testing, learning, and improvement is necessary to stay ahead of evolving threats. The skills required. Both red and blue teams require specific skills to fulfill their roles effectively. Members of the red team must have expertise in risk and threat intelligence, software, and security testing. They should have a deep understanding of virtual environments and be able to conduct social engineering engagements. Red team members typically hold certifications such as Certified Ethical Hacker and OSCP Offensive Security Certified Professional to enhance their credentials in offensive security. The blue team, in contrast, focuses more on defensive security and requires a different set of skills. These skills include understanding of network architectures, incident response, and monitoring of security information and event management tools. Blue team members typically hold certifications such as Certified Information Systems Security Professional and GIAC Certified Incident Handler to enhance their credentials in defensive security. Conclusion the dynamic relationship between the red team and the blue team is critical to ensuring optimal cybersecurity. Both teams are vital and have their unique set of skills and expertise. Working in tandem, they can identify vulnerabilities, detect and mitigate potential threats, and keep the organization safe from cyber attacks.
For organizations to maximize the potential of both the red and blue teams, it is essential to ensure that they collaborate effectively and maintain mutual respect and trust. As cyber threats continue to evolve, effective collaboration between the red and blue teams will continue to be paramount in maintaining a secure environment. Thanks for watching subscribe to our channel.